It's for me to heal and for me to be here for my grandmother and my mother, who are not alive. Yes, I'd have to say that because there's only 5% of First Nations left in Canada, almost all of us have been either directly affected or we are affected from those traumas in the past. I hope that I feel his sincerity and that I can, you know, begin to heal from that. Because I carry my grandmother and my mother inside of me. And so I'm here to hear that apology on behalf of all generations. So many people have been traumatized by the Catholic Church and the institutions. Of course, it'll open up some uh, impacts in their lives. It's only the messenger, but it's up to the people to uh, learn about the message and accept the message and forgiveness just to come from one direction. It's both ways, right? On Monday morning, I was sitting with survivors and I felt their reaction to your apology. Each will take from it what they need, but there's no doubt that you had an enormous impact. Survivors and their descendants need to be at the center of everything we do going forward. In that deplorable system promoted by the government authorities of the time, which separated so many children from their families, different local Catholic, Catholic institutions played a part. For this reason, I express my deep shame and sorrow and together with the bishops of this country, I renew my request for forgiveness for the wrong done by so many Christians to the indigenous peoples. I beg forgiveness. It is tragic when some believers, as happened in that period of history, conform themselves to the conventions of the world rather than to the gospel. The Christian faith has played an essential role in shaping the highest ideals of Canada, characterized by the desire to build a better country for all of its people. But at the same time, it is necessary, in admitting our faults, to work together to accomplish a goal that I know all of you share, to promote the legitimate rights of the native populations and to favor processes of healing and reconciliation between them and the non-Indigenous people in the country.